You might already know about client-side code gen. In this video, we'll learn about Postman's new server-side code generation. In the sidebar, I'm under APIs, and I have a single API called Space API, version 1.0. On the far right in the context bar, I see an icon for code generation. Let's expand that bar, and you can see a new feature called code generation that's in beta, where we could generate boilerplate from my API schema. In this example, I'm using OpenAPI 3.0 schema type. In the dropdown, I can select from popular languages and frameworks. So if I want to spin up an Express server, I can select Node.js Express. The very first time I generate code, I'm going to leave this box unchecked. But later on, if I add new endpoints or make some edits, I can check this box to only generate routes and interfaces. So the first time, I'm going to leave that unchecked, and I'm going to generate the code. Postman has zipped a file and downloaded it. So let's go ahead and open it. And we can see that a directory called space API node.js express that contains these subdirectories and files is downloaded. Let's take a look at this in our IDE. I'm in VS code and I can see our directory space API node.js express with our subdirectories package.json or readme a routes.js file, and also the server.js where we're instantiating our express server. So in that root directory, I'm going to install my dependencies. And I'll run the server. I see an express server has started on port 3000. So let's go back to Postman and hit our endpoint. In Postman, I'm going to generate a collection from my API schema. Let's call it space API docs, and let's categorize it as API documentation and generate that collection from our schema. Okay, so the collection has been generated. Now, if we go under the collections tab of the sidebar, we see this new collection called space API docs, and I can expand the folders and load up that first endpoint going to base URL of localhost because that's what our schema specified going to the slash launch endpoint. So let's hit send. And we get this back from our server that's running on localhost port 3000. Well, why is this the response that's coming back? Let's go back to the code. In VS code, I can expand the routes directory and take a look at launch.route.js where I see information about our endpoints, slash endpoint, slash ID endpoint. And under services, I can open launch.js file. This is where I can implement my business logic. And you actually see this placeholder here. So until you do that, the server side, uh, the stub is actually just going to return this data object. You can see it's being returned here because this is what my schema specified. Now, this is where I can go in and um, inject some SQL queries. I can have any kind of business logic, create new records, um, do all sorts of queries. This is the part that needs to be customized according to your own business. And that's the server side code, Jen. Uh, let us know how you're trying it. And it's the feature is still under beta, so there's going to be enhancements coming real time. Mm -hmm.